So we had this once in a decade census where we found out that China's population growth as well as its birth rate had slowed. Uh, so the country had uh, reported 1.412 billion people in in China last year and 12 million newborn babies. Uh, so that means that China will really have to recalibrate its projections for when the population is expected to peak. Because uh, just four years ago in 2017, it had expected that the population would peak in 2030. Uh, and now we're seeing demographers saying that that date could be as early as next year. Yes, yeah, so the immediate challenges are how to support China's aging society um, as well as the impacts of a potentially soon to be declining population on economic growth. So, of course, we know that a declining and aging population really makes it a lot harder for the government to be able to, you know, pay pensions and also for health care. So one concern is certainly the slump in the share of China's working age population, uh, which was about 63% last year compared to about 70% a decade ago. Um, so of course at the press briefing, uh, officials try to emphasize that the slowdown population growth is uh, very natural for a country that's developing. Um, and they said that China would adopt measures to push for what they call this long-term balanced development of the population. So the government has signaled a willingness to ease birth restrictions. Uh, we know that in some localities, they are looking into allowing families to have three children instead of the current limit of two before there are penalties. Um, of course, the government can also try to boost the working age population by extending the retirement age, which in China, it's currently one of the lowest in the world. Um, the government's five-year plan uh, does call for the retirement age to be raised in a phased manner. So um, it does show that the government is trying to take measures uh, to address low birth rates and an aging society, which economists say will be the dominant features of China's uh, demography for decades to come. Hey, thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, documentaries, interviews, deep dives, and shows on the stories that you care most about.